All right, guys. So it is Thanksgiving morning. Uh, the turkey's in the oven. Uh, it's raining out, but we're in a tent, so it doesn't really matter. And uh, we're working on motor wells. Uh, so what happened was when we had our prints modified, uh, everything, I think he might have just been scaled up. Uh, somehow the openings for the motors in the transom uh, on the modified prints ended up smaller than the originals. And I contacted Craig Schooning out of Australia from Spirit of Designs. And uh, he did verify that they should be to go with the original width. And uh, that's due to the inside of the motor well should be flush with the inside of this opening at uh, 500 millimeters. And uh, he had it written as 400. Not a big deal. I'm just going to cut them open. I got to lay everything out real quick and just widen these up to 500 millimeters overall. It does matter. And uh, I'll show you why a little bit later on uh, where there's actually glass that comes in and wraps around this corner and actually holds that motor well on, gives it a little bit more uh, security. So it wraps the whole corner right back onto the motor wells themselves. All right, so when mocking all this stuff, uh, what I've done is I found the center line of the hulls. Uh, it, it's all laid out in the prints for us, where the center line of the hulls are, where the uh, design water line is, all that. Um, so when we built the transom, all these measurements were from center line of hull and from the designated water line. Um, so what I did is I found the center line of the hull, it just measured in between, everything worked out perfectly. So this mark here would be center line of hull. And what I'll do is I'll just measure off of that to get my outside of my motor wells. And I'm just going to trim this edge here. Uh, so this space on either side of the center line should be 250 millimeters uh, to the outside of this opening. And again, it was a little shy, honest mistake. At least it's an easy fix. It's just cut it open and it's done. So a little trick I use is uh, all these radiuses on the boat, they're all pretty close to the same. Um, so I take the old lids off the mixing containers or to-go containers, whatever, and uh, I just draw out the circle and I use that as my template. It just makes life a lot easier to lay all of these curves instead of trying to get a compass in there. sizing of the prints so all the x's is where i got cut uh, i always try to mark where i got to cut so we don't screw it up uh, it's a lot harder to put back obviously um the motor wells are all pre-cut i measured everything off the design water line down to the opening matched it up with the prints um, i was off about a quarter of an inch which isn't a lot five to six millimeters um so what i did is i made the bottom of this flush with the opening here um i did that because one we stretched the boat so the numbers on the prints might not be exact and by everything i can tell on the prints it should be the same vertical height as the opening here so uh, that's what we're going with um, we can deal with it later if anything is just going to push the motor well up a little bit but again a quarter inch three eighths of an inch i don't think is going to matter much when it comes time to put the motors in if it does i can just trim the top of the the main support board uh, at that time so yeah that'll be the plan the motor well should sit the sides will sit here and then everything else will uh, get mounted to that afterwards uh, I'm gonna mount a piece of 2x8 uh, maybe I think it's a 2x8 so we'll, we'll clamp this in um, I gotta bevel the back side of this so the glue doesn't stick to it uh, that way it gives the glue some place to glow, go when we clamp everything in um, so I'll clamp this here after we cut the opening out, and that, that'll give me something to butt the sides against to make sure everything stays straight, square, level. That's the plan. I'm not going to go too much further today because it is Thanksgiving, and uh, I really don't get feel like getting full of fiberglass, so 
uh, for now, maybe after we eat, you know, if I'm not too tired, we'll uh, we'll be out there. So happy Thanksgiving to everybody. And I know it's a little late, but oh well. All right, so we are going to cut all of this out, and uh, yeah. Can you hear me, Han? Yeah. Are you laughing at me? Yep. Okay. Alright, here we go. Okay, well, that's it. All right, guys. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put this two by I think it's an eight, two by ten. I don't know, two by ten. Uh, I'm gonna clamp it against the wall here, just like I did the other side there. Um, I'm gonna line up the edges at the 500 millimeter mark, right on the edge of my cut here, so everything should line up properly. And uh, then from there, we're gonna probably try to glue the side pieces on. And I'm not sure if we're gonna screw them in or if we're just gonna try to clamp them or what, but this should hold everything nice and plumb for us. And uh, once the side pieces are in place, we can add the bottoms and the, uh, the fronts to it. So that's kind of the plan. Okay. Let's suck this right down to this. Okay. So I'm gonna put behind this other one here. Again, it doesn't really matter, just enough to keep the clamp from digging into the foam that's back there, the fiberglass and foam. I made indentations in a couple other spots, so trying to learn from our mistakes. And we should be pretty good there. And if I take the level, this should end up level along the side. And we are there. And we're gonna take these side pieces. And I made the line flush with the bottom cut here. And this line corresponds to the bottom of the cut on this opening. Um, I extended those lines out beyond on either side. So when I when we go to glue this in place, we'll be able to set these up here nice and tight against the board, like so. And we'll just line these lines up and glue them in place. All right, guys, so before we put this stuff on, um, I'm gonna route the outside edge just around over along this whole outside edge here. That'll just make it easier to glass. It'll save us a lot of sanding. So this is gonna go here now, up against the, uh, the board that I clamped. And I have to drill a hole through the side, and then I'm gonna fill fiberglass. I'm gonna wrap fiberglass down the side here, through the hole, and then it's gonna come out and wrap around this opening and along the back side here. Uh, up, I don't know what you can see, but up the back side. And what that'll do is that'll actually give it a lot more strength because uh when that motor's sitting on this there's a couple hundred pounds anyway three four hundred pounds probably sitting on these uh they are fiberglass in place but there's a lot of pressure pulling this front front tip down like that right like that so what that's doing is like basically just giving it a huge amount of extra strength um, we have tape coming today, uh, some like one inch wide Kevlar tape that we're going to use for that, make our lives a little bit easier. Okay. And that should be decent. From here we can just hit it with a little bit of sandpaper to really clean it up where we need it. But 
that's a good starting point. It saves a lot of time. All right, so we got to drill the holes in these now. On the prints, they don't give us any real uh, dimension on where to put the holes. Uh, the best I can come up with is kind of just eyeballing what's going to work and make it smoothly, the transition smoothly here. Uh, from here, where I can still get enough surface area to, to spread that tape out through and then through the back side and you have to make it underneath this radius here so when i do this I, i'm probably going to try to come out somewhere in the center of this i think i think if i do anywhere in here i'll be safe so what i'll do is i have these lines off the side here already so i'm just gonna kind of center it in this it's about three inches to the edge here of the line you know what? i might just push that up a little bit as well to come up another quarter inch here and then i go my inch and a quarter My precise measuring guys it's not horrible i think i'm gonna go up three eighths instead of quarter on this and i think i'm going with it and uh we'll have to deal with the uh the rest of it later um as far as like uh fiberglassing everything in there is a uh a wet well it comes this way so I'll probably just have to notch around the glass when I install that wet well. All right, let me, uh, I'm just gonna mark this quick while I'm here. So if I come up three eighths of an inch here, sacrificial piece underneath here. Um, it called for, was it 12 millimeter, I think, which is actually like half inch, uh, because we're using the tape and I want to be able to fit like at least five strands in there. Mm -hmm. I, we went a little bit bigger and it should still fill the hole, no problem. So that, that's the thought we're going a little bit larger hole. Plus I can get the router in there to, to round these corners over. So... Uh, all right, now I think we're ready to go. If you want to get uh, some resin prepped, um, what kind of resin? Thickened or no? Yeah, we're gonna go thickened. Um, fairly thick. Seam thick. Yeah, maybe not quite seam. Yeah, seam thick. Seam, seam thick. You don't want it drooping. No, I don't want it drooping. So. <sighs> Building a boat. Yeah, we are. Good. We get a good squeeze out. We're pushing nice and hard. Just in case everybody was wondering, I did put tape on these two eyes so we can get them off later.
Beautiful. Oh yeah. I like it. I like it a lot. Today we are using Total Bow Fast Hardener. Uh, fast Hardener, two to one resin. So we only have like ten minutes. Yeah, we have plenty of time. This should go fairly quickly, all in all. I mean, just a matter of putting it up there. If you have more of that, you want to jump inside one of those things and smear it in. In here. Or in the uh, I think these are actually all done. Uh, go to the third bay. Third, Wait, third bay or third bay. Okay. Wait. <laughs> like this is number one right here. Like this is number two. That's number one. Okay. I think I already did two. So Cassie is just filling in the inside of the joints. Uh, we've been taking our excess epoxy filler mix and uh, doing all the fillets on the inside so we can actually put some fiberglass in there before we try to flip the boat. Um, ideally, we'll have that nice and strong prior to trying to flip anything because there's gonna be a lot of force applied when it lands, and that's really the biggest issue is uh, when it lands. Come on, get in there. Okay, so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna take one of my pieces I'm gonna stick it in here just to make sure we have enough room, just in case these are in or out a little bit and I can clamp them if necessary. If you ever build a boat, make sure you have plenty of clamps because Lord knows we go through them. The resin likes to get on the threads and jam them up and all that stuff too, so nothing worse than when you go to grab a clamp and it doesn't, uh, it doesn't work because of the resin on the threads. And still out of all of our fancy tools we've purchased, fingers are the easiest bet. I'm pretty sure Cassie agrees with that. I'm using my fingers right now. Yeah, me too. <laughs> Did you hear me? You hear my comment? Yeah. All right. All right, looks good. Motor wells are half installed all right I'm gonna I can take my gloves off right I don't need nothing cleaned nope, okay gloves are off all right guys so that's gonna be it for uh, for this portion of the day anyway um, yeah next time we get back we uh, I'll probably install the bottoms and we can actually start fiberglass in these in place on the sides uh, there's three layers of glass that go on the corners here, um, just like the same as the transom. Um, I should have the tape today coming in for the through holes here. So we'll fan it out on this outside edge, roll it on the inside and fan it out on the inside as well. Um, and then yeah, three layers all the way around. Seal everything good, good. And uh, those are our motor wells. That's where our motors are gonna hang. So thanks for watching. Hope you guys are enjoying everything and uh, Anything else to say? No. All right. That's it. Nothing else to say. Do you want... Not a big deal though. Oh, camera's acting up. Great. And this is the stuff we have to deal with to get this footage. Yeah, I know. We plug it in, the camera dies. We don't plug it in, the camera dies.